It's one from Lens Crafts Designs. This is a piece of actually Primo and Sculpey mixed together. Why? Just because it's what I had on my desk. <laughs> I've rolled texture on the back, the Naga Hide texture tile. Sorry, my voice is cracking this morning. It is pretty early. It just turned 7 o'clock, so. <clears throat> I'm going to cut. These are the one and a half inch circles. Just going to cut two circles. Voila! Two circles. Okay. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Rolled out on the thickest setting. I should have said that. Now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Now, we're going to cut these kind of in half. Doesn't matter if they're exact. Alright, we're going we're gonna to take the top part. Just move it up. This bottom part, this is... <laughs> this is a texture tile from Cool Tools. Another one doesn't... <laughs> I have the name on the back, and no, I don't know what it's called. Um, I Literally, I bought these like 10 years ago, so. Yes, they still have them. Yes, they... Yeah. Yes. I'll try to remember to put the Cool Tools link down below. I do love this one. Now, remembering that this is part Sculpey, half and half, basically... I don't want to. I don't want to put too much pressure because it will squish it out, and it did it anyway. Oh man, that didn't get much texture. I'm gonna redo this one. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Now. I want to put these two back together. But. I realized that I did squish them out a bit. And of course, the top half is going to be thicker than the bottom half. Just because it got squished out. Okay, now we're going to just cut them out again. Sorry, i got to look for a second. That was good, wasn't it? Alright, just deal with it. Just deal with it.
take one of those and set it aside. And now we've made a little moon. Put the other one back. Do the same thing. And try to get it. Try to get it. Pretend you didn't see that. Oh yes, we did it. Okay, two moons. Now, I'm going to bake these. That's all I'm going to do at this point is bake them. 275, and they'll only need 15 minutes or so. Okay, now I've got, this is the Prima Wax. And I know there's a lot of debate on whether the tubs or the tubes. I personally prefer the tubs. Just my opinion. But if you've got the tubes, to me it's wasteful. Because I've got to put some on a surface. If I can even get it to come out. Put some on a surface. And then... I cannot really spread it out, but I can get some on my finger. Okay, you can do this with acrylic paint as well. Just do a dry brushing. Or you could do it with mica ahead of time. But then, I've got this waste that I can't do anything with. You really can't put it back in the tube. I just really prefer the tubs over the tubes so if you're listening which I know you're not please Anna go back to the tubs I know people complain that they dry out and now that is not dried out it's still perfectly workable. Uh, this is like probably six years old or something. It's, it's pretty old. Okay. So, sorry if you buy this. You're going to get it in tubes. I believe the tubes is the only way they come now. All right. Simple, but done. Don't think we're finished. We're not finished. I'm going to coat these with UV resin. Okay. This is the Speedball Mona Lisa brand metal leaf sizing I always say it's like rubber cement but thinner
Okay? Now, I know that's a straight line across there, but it doesn't have to stay a straight line. Now, as you can tell, once again. Okay, now, these are foil transfer sheets. These particular ones are by Ranger. Foil sheets, shiny transfer foil sheets. Works with Ranger adhesive sheets, strips, and sticky embossing powder. This is going to be an experiment. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure they will work with the gold leaf sizing. I chose this silver. Now, these are the foil, uh, the nail foils. Just like the foil sheets, they have the matte backing and the foil next to the plastic, let's call it a carrier sheet. You can see already where I've used part of this one, okay? That's the plastic carrier sheet I'm talking about. Oh, and I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Gonna like if you roll off too much toilet paper. Uh, uh. Alright. Now since we only need a tiny bit. I'm just gonna cut off a tiny bit. Okay, that much. Here we go. Ready or not. Now, hopefully this won't stick to the UV resin. <laughs> Didn't think about that too much, but... Alright, when you rip it off, rip it off like a band-aid. Really quick. Now that that leaf. Okay, now these are nail art. Um, they're just little flat back rhinestones. Okay, just put one on each one. I'll I'll actually show you putting them on on the other set. Okay. There they are. 
Now also, put the rhinestones on top of the UV resin. If you put them under the UV resin, they will lose all of their facetedness. Okay, they'll just look like a, a dark blob. Okay. Okay, this is the Glossy Accents by Ranger. If I can get it to work today. The answer to that is no. Okay. Okay. The reason this is so hard to come out is not only I've probably had it for a long time, 10 years or so, <laughs> but also because I don't use it very much. This is a rhinestone picker. which actually just has a silicone tip. Well, it has two silicone tips, one on each end. A larger one and a smaller one. Okay. And got four silver jump rings. And I believe these are silver plated. Okay, I'm just going to put the larger ones on. Close them. larger ones on. I've got the smaller ones. And I measured these before, but I'm not sure what they are. These may be eights. Eight millimeters. Alright, front of the earrings towards me. Hang the hoops, I mean the fish hooks. Same way. Okay. Yeah. Apologize for my voice breaking again. Been bad today. Like I said, might have been eight years ago, but I still had a stroke. And it did affect <laughs> certain vital parts. But I'd rather lose part of my voice than lose part of my hands. Or the workings of my hands, anyway. Oh, those are really attractive. I like those. Alright, I'm just going to do these other two. And we'll be back to show the finished results. Here they are. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Really cute. No molds, no cutters. Well, my circle cutter. No moon cutter, anyway. Absolutely love them. So sparkly. 
All right, got two pair. But remember, if you're ever interested in 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 any in any <laughs> of these uh, demo pieces that I do, uh, just shoot me an email or contact me on Facebook, or and we'll work something out. Oh, these are cute. All right, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Please always remember, I love doing this. I've loved doing this for 14 years. And y'all are the whole reason behind everything. Behind my channel, behind my videos, even behind the creativity it takes to keep me going. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe like everybody's video you watch. Bye for now.